Okay, welcome to Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues. Tonight we're going to do a, uh, I'm going to show you how to do a angel hair pomodoro. We'll just do a, a roasted tomato sauce and a over angel hair pasta. Real simple. And you see I got, uh, I got some of the tomatoes off the, uh, the rack, you know, that's, they're, they're, they're kind of like overripe, but they're just like perfect for this dish. See, they're still like a third of the price. So. I highly suggest you know you shop off of that rack, get some good deals. Okay. Watch out for these stickers. New Jersey tomatoes, man, you can't beat them. Except when the locals start coming in here pretty soon. Season them up, salt and pepper. Okay, rub them with garlic, plenty of garlic. It's almost too good to give up, man. I might have to eat that one. That's it. I'm going to pop it in the oven. Cook them about three quarters. I'm going to turn them over. Let them steam till that skin comes off. Reduce the water that's in them down. And I'll show you how we make the sauce. All right, about, uh, tomatoes about half cooked, so let's check them out. What I'm going to do is turn them over now. Turn them over. See, so they're giving up the juice now. So, let the juice will like drain out and then kind of uh, dry them out a little bit. Now you'll loose, it'll start loosening the skin up a little bit more. The skin will come right off. I like to concentrate them down to one end. And uh, right back in the oven. Ah, Janelle brought us the secret ingredient. Fresh basil right out of the garden. Come in. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ah, Josh's sweetie pie. Look at that. Fresh, fresh pick. How can we beat that? Right? Mmm. Kitchen. Thank you very much, honey. Oh, you're welcome. That makes it right there. So, about another 10 15 minutes, we'll start cooking our pasta and we'll make our sauce real quick. You can roast these tomatoes the day before and then cool them down in the refrigerator, and you got a quick meal when you come home for dinner at night. Okay, we're back. I'm going to show you how we're going to make the sauce. We're going to cook uh, the angel hair and then. Uh, do the sauce at the same time, it should all, it should all come up together. Olive oil, garlic, I like a little bit of fresh butter in there too. I like a mixture of olive oil and butter. I'm going to cook the whole, whole pound of uh, angel hair because I know Carolina is going to want some. Marsha's already said she wants some. Cooks nice and quick. So, see that? And the juice comes off it. We're all set here. I forgot to pull the core out of that one. See how the skins come right off? You know, if you got to have a garden in the summertime, roast these out and put them in a Ziploc. You can do this all winter long. Yeah, 
You want to cook it with the garlic gets uh, that. In fact, I'm going to use a little more garlic. A lot of garlic. Roast it up real good. that Janelle brought out of the garden. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Nature is a beautiful thing. What it provides us. Put a little bit of juice in there. Just save the rest for another dish. Just slide this over. So what, uh, the idea is to go right, right from the pot here with the uh, angel hair, right under the skillet, right under the dish. A couple of good friends out in the dining room and. I'm going to lay this on them for a first course. Give me a spoon, John. A little bit of fresh basil for the garnish. So I'll show you something here. They call this a chiffonade. Like when you take, okay, you can roll it, right? And then real fine. Any herb that you cut like this is called chiffonade. You don't get you don't get that color sauce in a restaurant very often. Usually it's that blood red or you know dark red. Andrew hair is ready. Hey Josh, yeah, go strain the rest of this off. Look at that. Probably gonna need a little salt pepper, we'll see. Just a little bit of salt pepper. Josh, get a little side of Parmesan to serve with. I'm not gonna put any Parmesan in this.
shop. Okay. This is it. See how that looks? Nice on top. That's it. Here you go, I'm here, I'm here. That's for table one. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, table one. Here you go. Give me a fork, Josh. So I would eat this without Parmesan, just so you get the natural flavor. Look at that with some grilled shrimp or anything. A piece of chicken over it. Everybody loves angel hair. You know, it's funny, I like a little more salt, a little more salt and pepper, but you know, it's funny, pasta's all made with the same ingredients, but it's just the way it's cut, the texture when you're eating it. Uh, I said before, my theory is, texture is a flavor. And, uh, you know, it's how you rough chop the tomatoes. A little bit of salt and pepper made it. All right, it's Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. Hope you enjoy it. Try it at home. Angel here, Pomodoro. Try to get some tomatoes from the local farmer. Support your local farmers. Grow your own even better. Ciao.